It's got nice pictures to it as well, this one. Hello, how are you, Harley? Look, I've got the um, What's her name with me? Sing me, Bob. Honey May. <laughs> and there's Byron. Okay, right, this is called You Are. Oh, Father William. I've got a scary one for tomorrow called Jabberwocky. Right, you're listening. Holy, your camera's gone off. Ah. Your camera's gone off. Byron, your camera's gone off. <laughs> come back, come back. Right, here we go. I'm still here. Here we go. You are old, Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white, and yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at your age this is right? In my youth, Father William replied to his son, I feared it might injure my brain. But now that I'm perfectly sure I have one, I do it again and again. <laughs> you are old, said the youth, as I mentioned before, and have grown most incredibly fat. That's true. Yet you turned a back somersault in at the door. Pray, what is the reason for that? In my youth, said the sage as he shook his grey locks, I kept all my limbs very supple. By the use of this ointment, by the use of this ointment, one shilling a box, allow me to sell you a couple. <laughs> you are old, said the youth, and your jaws are too weak for anything tougher than suet. Yet you finished the goose with the bones and the beak. Pray, how did you manage to do it? In my youth, said his father, I took to the law and argued each case with my wife. And the muscular strength which this gave to my jaw has lasted the rest of my life. You are old, said the youth. This is good now. Listen to this. Pay attention. You are old, said the youth. One would hardly suppose that your eye was as steady as ever. Yet you balanced an eel on the end of your nose. What made you so awfully clever? I have answered three questions, and that is enough, said his father. Don't give yourself airs. Do you think I can listen all day to such stuff? Be off, or I'll kick you downstairs. Ta-da! And that's a poem by Lewis Carroll. Very nice. And look, it's got a picture of Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> there's the son, and there's the fat dad. Father with it. <laughs> and at the end, you can see him balancing, oh, a, balancing an eel on his nose. <laughs> and then he said, be off. Or I'll kick you downstairs. There you are. And tomorrow I've got a scary poem called The Jabberwocky. Grand, can you see my cat biting his tail? Oh, yeah. What's he Is doing? He winning? What was he doing? Having a wash? Having it? Chasing his tail. <laughs> oh, in that picture with the cat, I can see the house across the road out the window. See? See the houses across the road? <laughs> with all the vans and cars parked outside. Mm -hmm. Do you want to set up a dialogue with Harley in half an hour? Uh, if I have when you've some, charged your, if I have some percent, yeah. Charge your device. Yeah, she's going to charge her device and then you girls can have a chat. Okay, Byron, you doing anything tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Um, no, the, gravel, really not. the gravel should be coming tomorrow at 10 o'clock, so come and help if you like. Okay. And I have half a packet of bourbon biscuits, and I have no idea what to do with them. <laughs> I'll eat them. Okay. Byron loves bourbon. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's story time over, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I've recorded that, so if anybody else wants to watch it, then I'll okay. I'll put it up on Uvulus Tubulus. I'll probably go Ruben next. He 
he doesn't watch story time. Okay, bye bye. It's, it's got a picture of him anyway. Bye. See you later. <laughs> bye.